as for Jay Sai Gahari, we were comrades in prison for many, many years. We were so close together that we were like brothers. And uh, I've read his book from page one to last page. I'm extremely impressed that the book has covered a lot of important topics which he had not been able to discuss in his first book. For example, in this book, he paid tribute to his late wife, Jay Salama. Now, I think this is very appropriate because very often we do not, we rather do not realize that a person, when a person is detained, the sacrifice and sufferings of his wife and the family is as acute and as profound as the detainee himself. From his book, we realize that his wife has gone through tremendous <laughs> effect on both of us. At the board book, we felt very moved. And Simon, you have a great wife. Your, your wife is a great woman. And she's fine and she's good. The other important question is one of how to meet if tortures and hunger strikes. This is very well dealt with in your book. Now, in Jesai Gahari has dealt with the question of integrity. As you know, he was tempted with bribery. He was tempted with being the director of the Institute of Bahasa Kebangsaan as a temptation to come out of prison. Now, integrity, what is integrity? Here is a man whose integrity can sustain 70 years of imprisonment. Yet in Singapore, we have political leaders whose integrity has to be sustained by the highest pay in the world. <laughs> the difference between this type of integrity is the difference between heaven and earth. From a moral standpoint, Sai, those people whose integrity has to be sustained with money and money and money, they are not fit to lick the ground that you walk on. <laughs> so you should be proud that we have fought and won on a moral plane. And I put them to shame. Now the other important part in your book is the revelation of the statements made by the detainees they were arrested in 1987-89, the so-called Marxist group. And the publication of their letters which they released after they were detained, that is very important to show that this trend of torture was not something prevalent only in the 1960s and the 1950s, but it is continuous political method used by the repressive regime in Singapore to suppress all legitimate opposition. And the fact that they now cannot have people with ideals and spirit to come out to join politics is because of the result of four decades of relentless torture, relentless repression that has pervaded in Singapore since then. And that these statements which you have published in your book of the Marxist groups, they are very important educational material to the general public, especially of the present generation. Oh, 不过我先结束
，除了这个要看这本书，你们也是大家也是要借一件啊，提出一件，批评我嘛。如果我那些地方写的不好的话，讲的不对的话，大家应该要讲出来，批评我，我们可以谈。我们都是朋友的。And、uh, after that, I have to thank very much my friend and comrade Dr. Lim Hock Siu. I think you all know that Dr. Lim Hock Siu and I were detained together. We were arrested together on the morning of 2 February 1963, and both of us were detained in Changi Prison. For almost 17 years in Chinese in prison proper, and then later on, Li Guan Yao gave us one island each. <laughs> I was given Pulau Ubin, and my friend Dr. Lim Hock Siu was given Pulau Tukum, a bigger one, a better one, <laughs> because he's a doctor. <laughs> anyway, but I was in Pulau Ubin only for about a year, but. Dr. Dr. Lim was detained there for more than three years. So, in other words, Dr. Lim was not only detained for 17 years, but he was detained for 20 years. Uh, I've been telling our friends that uh, it is time that we take the writing of the other side of history. Then, even the listeners, very seriously. Because if we don't write, and nobody will write, and the history will be very one-sided, and they think what they have written are the truth, whereas it is not so. So we must tell them. We must tell the people, the present generation, and the future generation, that the real history or the other set of history has to be also read and understood by the people. And I, I think six years ago. When the first book was launched, I had、uh, already appealed to friends to write、uh, their part of the story, their part of history. I'm afraid now I will repeat again. Although since then there have been a couple of books published, and now I'm very happy because my friend、uh, Wang Sun Fong had written one, and that is a very important one because he was. A part of Singapore history, just like any of us, which people like Lee Kuan Yew wanted to cover. They don't want people to know that Wan Sun Fong was once a member of the Legislative Council,、uh, was a PP member, a body side,、uh, important member. Just because Wan Sun Fong ran away, just because Wan Sun Fong was not elected and didn't like us. And、uh, like Dr. Lim has said just now, I agree with him that if Sun Pong had been arrested, he would have been like us, 16, 17, maybe 20 years. But I'm not worried about him; he can stand it. Thank、you